Okay. Um. Okay, hello everyone. Um this how to um I was gonna show you how you can compress files from within your uh, Visual Basic uh, .NET application. So first thing to do, uh, first you need to add a reference. So go to project and come over here, go to references. Now uh, you need to search for something called Windows Base. If you don't see it here, you just select add and then you just search for it okay this is it it's windows it's already uh, included in the current project so there's no need for it now okay so after you add the reference you'll be able to compress files now how do you do it so first thing in this example we have this form and we have this compress button and we have this dialog box now the steps are as follows first thing you need to get the file name so obviously this dialog box is being used to get the file name and it's gonna be stored here next you are gonna create the zip archive now uh, here you are gonna use the system IO packaging zip package okay and then yeah, in order to generate the package you are gonna use the open method and you need to provide the name of the zip package uh, with the operation for example are you gonna uh, open it for read or open it for uh, for write or whatever so in this example we are gonna always remove the previous zip package and create a new one now here I'm using the file name and adding dot set IP which will uh, will create a package with the same name of the file with the extension zip IP okay next uh, you uh, now this line actually creates the zip package but the zip package is going to be empty now ne uh, you need to add the file into it now uh, this part here uh, will be used to uh, load the information of the file into a byte array which is here it's B. now uh, in order to add the file into the package uh, the files are added as parts so here we are creating a new uh, URI to identify where the file should be stored so here uh, you use the uh, document uh, uh, sorry the URI now you are gonna use something called URI helper this will make your life easier because it's, man it's gonna manage everything for you uh, and uh, and uh, get rid of um, all the mistakes that you might do now so you select the create part URI you're gonna going to do the following let me show this to you here here you need to provide a new URI uh, you need to use the system IO path get file name this will get rid of the full path okay and only keep the file name alone okay uh, this uh, the URI kind is relative here in this example now next we are gonna actually create the part this is only the URI the part is not created here we are creating the part and you need to provide the URI you need to provide the type of the file being added okay so here it's a, this is a string but this is a predefined string so you can use this to identify the standard BIM types and in this case I am, I am assuming that every file I'm gonna add is a zip file actually you can add for example something different like RF, uh, RTF file, PDF file, whatever file you like okay or for example you can say you are adding images okay so you specify images like this okay anyway so your application should identify the MIME anyway after that um, you need to provide the compression option and in this case uh, you can provide it as fast compression maximum normal not compressed or super fast so in this case we are doing the maximum compression now uh, the last thing to do 
we created the part but we didn't store the bytes in the in that part okay so now uh, we are gonna get the stream p dot get stream is gonna and get me the stream for that part and I'm gonna write all uh, the bytes here uh, here I am providing the array uh, start point and the length finally you close archive okay and that's it now uh, if you check uh, in the, for the sake of example uh, let me remove this test here okay so escape delete that now this one is deleted now if we are uh, double click this one hello this is a test right so now I'm gonna run this compress and I'm gonna select this one and press open and that's it now if we go to the desktop we're gonna see this now if you double click it you're gonna see two files the first is our file which is compressed you can double click it and see that it's working it's really the original file and the second one it's an XML document that is included uh, sadly there's no way to get rid of this uh, of this document uh, okay um, it's just just a file containing m meta information um, so this is basically how you uh, compress files if you want to include more than one file in the archive all you need to do is uh, add uh, another part okay so um hope you'll find this useful if you have further question uh, let me know send them send your question to notes at mkdicef.com thank you and have a nice day bye bye